What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about doing a rapid GL implementation, which brings you up a chart of accounts, calendar, ledgers, all of the base structures for running a GL, all going to be done in a spreadsheet. Let's get to it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the roles needed. We're going to download the spreadsheet. We're going to examine the details in the spreadsheet. We're going to upload the chart of account, review the details of the chart of accounts. We'll upload the structures. We'll review the structures. We'll set the data access for the general accountant. We'll open the period and we'll run a test journal entry. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go over and have a look at the user, Bob Adams. So I can show you the roles that I have assigned. Okay, so go to financials just to be sure. And then all tasks. And then you'll notice create implementation users as standard. And we'll go search for Mr. Bob Adams. Okay, and notice I have IT security manager, general accountant, employee, application implementation consultant. That's all we need. The general accountant we will use to open the first period. Okay, go back, set up a maintenance again. We'll search rapid. go to common financial configuration and then note using a spreadsheet so download the file that's the file we'll use okay so there it is I'm gonna bring it over to the desktop close we can pull that down and now notice I'm gonna right click on this and go to properties and unblock so that's the first thing you want to do with that file. Okay, so let's open up the file. Now you'll notice I have pre-filled out the file, so we'll go over it, but I just want to quickly go back to, this is sort of my template file right here. I'll open it up. And basically this is the same file that we're going to be looking at in a second. And it has all of the various pieces of information that I took. So let's go over the file that we've updated. I've added the ledger name, chosen USD monthly. Here you can choose um, when you want your adjusting period. I'm just doing one. Here's my starting fiscal year start date. I'm going to start in January of 2022. Here's my segment values. Here are essentially the qualifiers. They're called segment labels infusion, and you choose the primary. Same selections across the board, natural account, cost center, intercompany, et cetera. There's a few more. You can have up to three balancing segments, but that's beyond the scope of this particular discussion because all we're trying to focus on here is the rapid upload. So here's the short prompt. So you get this, and then of course the display for each of the segments. All right. Now you'll notice here, there's a cost center, a location and interco. When you detail this out, it comes, the standard file comes with natural accounts, okay, not filled out, of course, and the company, okay? Those are the only two segments that are there, right? And so when you add this cost center location, whatever, you hit add segment sheets, and then you'll end up with these guys right here. So we'll fill that, we'll, we'll, you'll see how I filled them out. Basically, the business unit is here. Make sure that your legal entity maps to your company here where you detail out the legal entity in this. All of these fields need to be completed. Okay, not the province, but all this needs to be detailed out so that the legal entity can be created. And here is your structure in this particular example, your super parent, parent, sub parent, and then the individual values, right? And, um, Natural accounts, I have detailed this out already from the sample file. Notice parent, subparent, and then children right in here. You'll notice that there's these account types which are important. You can detail these out based on the options available. But the most important one here in order for a ledger to be created, let's bring this over here. For the ledger to be created is to come down to 3,000 and detail out your retained earnings because that's 
got to be there in order. So you need to identify this as whatever. And of course, if you have downloaded this file from the link in the description, then of course this will all be there already. Okay, so you can just upload this, this as it is, but this is basically the detailing of it out. Now let's go over to the cost center. The cost center is basically this management. So I've been, I've put together one string of these guys, the admin cost centers, parents admin. These are the, the, the children that sit underneath it. I've got a couple here. I got a standard, not applicable. Let's go to location. The location has been detailed out parent with a couple of different examples. Here's the USA side. Here's the EU EU side. All of these are just simply examples. The interco is essentially the same as the companies, excepting that we have the triple zeros in here. So let's have a look at that. I've got a triple zero for the not applicable. And then you have, of course, you have this detail out. And of course, you do not have legal entities for the intercos. The financial sequences choose when you want them to restart monthly, annually, if never. And I'm just putting initial values across the board of a thousand. Okay. Now, so all of that gets detailed out and we come back over here and you validate okay successful no errors found do you want to see a sample report it'll look like that no big deal but it automatically creates these reports for you so let's just delete that don't need it okay and then we'll come all the way back to the beginning here now that we have validated we can run the generate chart of accounts file and we'll call that We'll put that in the desktop. Now I gave an example, so I'm just gonna call that YC because it's an example already. I'm gonna overwrite it. Okay, so yes. And then of course to this one right here, if you just upload this file right here, you will get a full blown chart of accounts, meaning the segments, the value sets, the instance of the structure, the structure, the instance of the structure, and it will be deployed and it will be set. The creating of the business units, the legal entity, etc happens if you upload this file so we'll run that come back to desktop and i'm going to call that yc financials common i'm going to overwrite it it won't exist on your system but just give it a name that you can recognize and find and that settles out the spreadsheet save the spreadsheet for future use this can be used over and over again in any instance if you just take this file that you downloaded from the the description of the video you will be able to upload this to, to any instance and it will create all of this business right here and you'll be off and running. Now it's time to actually load up the chart of accounts zip file. So let's go to search. We'll put in rapid again. And let's locate the common rapid GL and then upload chart of accounts, select the file, select the COA file, submit. Well, let's put a, a note on here so we can track it, submit it. And it just takes a few moments, a couple of minutes to be uploaded. So you just want to make sure that they all show succeeded. All right, so let's close out of that. Now let's go look at the value sets. I'll put in the account value set, the one for your co, and then we'll look at the values and you can see they're all loaded up. Now let's look at the cost center, the values, now the company. We'll look at the values. Again, interco. And last location. Okay, there they are. So that's just loading the chart of accounts. And uh, let's now look at the structures. And we'll find our structure, the Yurco. There it is. Now let's go look at the instance of the structure. And there it is. set
Now let's look at the hierarchies. This is the hierarchy for the account. Okay. There they are. You can see all the hierarchies under the 10,000, the 3,000, the 2,000, etc. Let's go look at the company hierarchies. And there you go. There's the companies. Call center. centers okay now let's go ahead and load up the structures okay so we'll go back to rapid go back to financials now we're going to upload the structures legal entities ledgers etc Let's go find the file. Okay. That, not that, that one right there. Okay. We'll put a note in so we can track it. Once this shows us succeeded, we're all good. So we can put that in there to track because this will be the parent process. Okay. And this will be sped up. Okay, this takes a good bit of time, probably 20 minutes, depending on the infrastructure that's running. This is a vision instance, so it takes a bit of time. So that's done, right? Now let's go look at the legal entities. We'll go and select it. We'll go find the, the Yurko. And there it is. Select it. And there's the legal entity created. Let's go look at the calendar that has been created. Come all the way down to your co. And there's the calendar 23 and 22 starting in January. Okay. Now let's go over and set up the data access for the user. Bob Adams for the role general accountant. Security contact is data access set. Let's search for your co. There's the ledger and save and, a, save and close. Close that. And next we'll go over to open up the period. So we'll go to period close. We want to make sure it shows the right ledger, your co. Click on general ledger and it'll ask you, you want to open the first period, which we do. Okay. Now we'll come over, give it a minute. Well, a couple of seconds anyway. And now refresh and you'll notice one open, one future. February is the future. Okay, close that. Now what we'll do to make sure everything resets is we'll go ahead and log out and then log back in, log back in. And now let's go over and configure and update the ledger options. Okay, this was all like in one go back in EBS. So I'm just going to update that retained earnings. And you can see all these different options, enable journal approvals, suspense accounting, journal reversal. So these things will all have to come in after. Okay, I'm just going to add a D to that. Save it. And then we come down and just for the fun of it, show how you can update the cumulative translation adjustment account. Put in the balancing segment, the company. The account is going to be in the 3000s. We can search for it by accumulated. And we are looking 
need for accumulated translation adjustment. There it is, 38101. Owner's equity. All these will be zeros. And say OK. And to complete this, we need the period end rate. So we'll choose one that's already been created in this vision instance, and we'll choose the average for that one. Okay, let's save and close it. So ledger options are set. Now we can go over and actually create a journal entry in the general ledger that we created. So we'll go to journals, create journal, we'll put in some details, fill in an account, Let's put some cash in the operating million dollars for the fun of it. Okay, put in a million, copy that, go to row two, paste it, and let's just update the account. And I'll put it in retained earnings for the fun of that. And we'll change to 31101 retained earnings, say okay. Add a million, million, and we'll make it miscellaneous. We'll give it a batch one, J1, and we are all set. So let's complete it and let's post it. Okay, it's posted. Let's cancel out of that. And we'll go back to uh, manage journals. And here's our journal, and it does show as posted. So that is going to do it, folks, for how to upload a full-blown chart of accounts, ledger, legal entity, with all the hierarchies, etc. Hope you enjoyed it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.